Hippos Can Swim by Pablo Bernasconi. Hippo was afraid of the water. All day long, he sat on the shore and watched his family floating like logs. Come on in, they said. You love it. No way, he replied. It looks boring. But he never went in to find out. I wonder what everyone else does for fun, thought Hippo. First, he found a group of rabbits skipping rope. Up, down, up, down. Wow, thought Hippo. I'd like to bounce like that. But when Hippo had a go, his feet barely left the ground. Have another turn, said the rabbit. So he tried and he tried. But he couldn't jump over the rope. I'm no good at skipping, said Hippo. That's okay, said the rabbits. We can't swim, but hippos can. Next, Hippo found a tree full of chirping birds. Amazing, he thought. How exciting to see the world from up so high. But when Hippo started to climb the tree, the branch broke and he fell to the ground. Use another one, said the birds. So he tried again and again, but not even the thickest branch supported his weight. I'm too heavy to climb, said Hippo. That's okay, chirped the birds. We can't swim, but hippos can. Then, he found a hole in the ground. How curious, thought Hippo. So he knocked twice at the entrance, and the badger came out. May I see inside? he asked. When Hippo squeezed in, he left no room for anyone else. Squash up, said the badgers. But there still wasn't enough space for Hippo to play in the tiny hole. Oh, I'm too large to live underground, said Hippo. That's okay, squeaked the badgers. We can't swim, but hippos can. A little monkey saw that Hippo was all alone. Come and play with us, she said. Aren't I too big? Hippo asked. That doesn't matter, said the monkey. I may be small, but I have lots of friends. But not one, not two, not even seven monkeys could lift Hippo off the ground. I can't see, Saw, said Hippo sadly. That's okay, chorused the monkeys. We can't swim. But hippos can. Maybe big animals like me can't have fun, Hippo thought. He sighed as he looked at the lagoon. The other hippos have fun swimming. Perhaps there's more to it than just floating like logs. He wanted to try, but he was afraid of the water. Hippos can swim. He told himself, and I am a hippo. He took a deep breath, plucked up all of his courage, and plunged in. Boing, boing, boing. What's happening? thought Hippo. I'm as light as a monkey. I can fly like a bird. I can jump, and I have so much room. It's fantastic. From then on, 
Hippo spent all his days in the lagoon, playing with his brothers and sisters. And that night, he dreamed of flying, for his courage had given him wings. The end.